Proximus, when we look into the IoT and the, the M2M market, we focus ourselves and also link to the announcement we made to the entire Belgian market and Luxembourg market. When we look into the, the, the verticals, we see more value today in IoT in the, the enterprise market. Uh, although the consumer market is also an attention point. When we look a bit further in the, the verticals of the enterprise market where we see the, the first priorities and, um, and the, the, the first focus uh, we will put, we can look uh, first of all into the smart cities. I think in smart cities and specifically with, with traffic we see quite some, quite some traction. And uh, the smart buildings uh, is also an area where we have done uh, a few pilots today where we can see that with the, the, the sensors and uh, in the smart buildings we can offer uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of value. Of course the uh, utility market, I mean that's a market which is uh, discussed a lot, I mean gas, uh, electricity and then uh, also very important the logistics. So we have big, uh, in Belgium, big uh, harbors also of course uh, airports and uh, there with the, the track and trace use cases we see also a very interesting uh, use case that we can bring with the uh, LoRa. Great. The unique selling points uh, for Proximus, first of all, of course, we, we are a telco, we are, we are an operator and uh, I, I could put them into three, three axes, three areas. So, so first of all, we have an existing M2M platform. We want to, to integrate this and uh, to make the, the radio part uh, transparent for the users. So we want to be radio agnostic towards our, our users is an, an important part. The, the, the second aspect is about the, uh, the data. So we are talking, of course, about uh, connected objects, but there is a lot of data coming out of that. The data, gathering the data, storing the data, but then about the analytics and the insights of the analytics. This is certainly uh, something where we uh, can offer a unique uh, selling proposition. And uh, the, the, third, uh, the third aspect uh, where we can be unique is that we want to offer a, a standardized interface to the developers' uh, uh, community. This is really key for having the developers community uh, creating in the ecosystem the specific vertical uh, application. We uh, at Proximus we uh, believe in open innovation and certainly in the, the connected things, the big data uh, towards the verticals. We think that we can be very much of a higher value towards the verticals if we lies with, uh, with uh, the developers' communities. So those are the three points. First of all, agnostic towards the radio link. Second one is the insights on the big data. And the third one is the, the standard interface towards the developers' community to create the ecosystem. Well, for Proximus, all the value that we get out of the LoRa, LoRa Alliance, it's, it's about the ecosystem. I mentioned indeed that we are talking about open innovation and the, the connected objects scene is very important to create this, uh, this ecosystem. We really see in the LoRa Alliance now an opportunity to have context and to build this uh, ecosystem and this is a big value for us. Proximus announced publicly that we will deploy in uh, 10 cities uh, this year. We will launch commercially at, uh, at the end of this year, so it will be 10 cities, Belgium, uh, Luxembourg, and uh, next year we will have a national uh, deployment of this IoT network. Okay.